Hello everyone, welcome to another unbox and review video. Today, we have something a little bit special. Let's travel to Arkham City with the brand new Batgirl 1-6 figure from Hot Toys. All right, so this just came fresh off the boat from Hong Kong. Very, very nice. Let's get it open out of the plastic. I've been a long time waiting for this figure. Uh, one of our fellow panickers has been waiting a long time as well, especially after it was first announced. I mean, that one was back in 2018, 17. So quite the long wait, quite the long wait indeed. So I shall remove it. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, so, it is from Batman Arkham Knight. And, whoo, this is really, really cool. Just look at this. Printed a surface for a Batgirl. Really, really cool. And then there's the Arkham A here. Video game masterpiece. Very nice. VGM 040. All right, DC. Ooh, really nice. And the Arkham Knight logo up here. Very cool. And the Batgirl logo up here. It also has this raised surfacing which is really really nice really nice i like the tactile feel of this box it's an open window flat box so you can see here batgirl with a map of the game right over there very very cool um again see the main main bubble tray with batgirl really nice really nice so let's uh get her open See how cool she actually is. Okay, so for the accessory, she does come with well for just just enough. <laughs> um, but first thing is the spare pegs. Very nice for hot toys to include. Spare pegs in case your original pegs break. All that. And the other one is this. Well, other thing they they would this really could include is this extra face plate. It's a very well painted, very nice. It's a smirking, slight smirk, which is pretty cool. Uh, I would appreciate as well, like a angry, like she's fighting. Yeah, very nice texturing, texture work on the stand. Very nice. And then the, there's a gloss print of the Batman Arkham Knight logo up there, which is really, really cool. And down here, there's a metal nameplate, Batman Arkham Knight Batgirl. Get on to the rest of the main accessories. This is the I guess for the hacking mini game, you you would use this. It's really nice, but I think for now it's just showing the game map and your objectives right now. Which is really really cool. Again, this is really nice because you actually get to play as Batgirl in one of the DLCs. So before she became Oracle, it's a very nice printout. So it looks like it's sort of protruding, like it's projecting holographically, like in the games. And there's the grapple launcher. Very nice, very Keaton styled grapple launcher. And you can remove the uh, grappling hook. And relevant to the grapple launcher is the grapple line. The grapple line comes in well, one piece and just slot in there. There you go. Uh, but the wire, I think, is a bit flimsy. I would appreciate like an actual like thicker wire for them to include with this, but you know, this is all right, I guess. But yeah. Two Arkham style batarangs. Very cool, very nice gunmetal with a metal center and the silvers on the blade tip. Very cool. I'm not sure these are foldable, these are collapsible. Um, no, no, they're not, they're not hinged anyway. So don't try to collapse these, you'll bind you and break them. But they are very, very sharp. Ow. Specialized face replacement tool. Right, so right now she has this very stern, serious expression. Very nice, and so what you would do, to pop your head off, there's a tiny, tiny hole right here. Then what you would do is you take this tool, poke it into the hole, and then, boop, the faceplate comes off, and you get a faceless barber. <laughs> okay, so then you just take this, smirking head sculpt, there you go, lovely jubbly. Very nice, so, but for the purposes of this review, I'll just put it to default. So, uh, for the rest of her accessories, the final set are the hands. She comes with four pairs of hands. This one is an open hand and 
You can see from the hands they, they paint these really, really nicely. There's all this palm hand and there's this sort of relaxed hand. Then there's a gripping hand. I'm sure this might be for the, because he actually has an actual trigger finger hand or, uh, or uh, oh, this isn't a trigger finger. This is a, this is a batarang throwing hand. So you can put a batarang in here. And here is a grapple, grapple launcher hand, trigger finger hand the grapple launcher then another relaxed hand last relaxed hand very very nice so yeah let's all get all these extensions out of the way and we'll go in to Batgirl herself okay so we have Barbara Golden right here fresh on the bolts very very nice like and let's go through the sculpt and paint on this figure and I mean oh boy it's she's a really great figure hot toys really outdid themselves today uh, for this, sir, uh, because look like she just well, they just ripped her out of the computer. <laughs> so uh, she's got this very nice uh, bat suit. I mean, look at all the detail, all the metal work. This looks like the game model. Very, very nice. Very cool. I mean, all this texture work here, all the ribbing, uh, ribbing here. Very nice. And on the thigh piece, and the bat sculpted bats on the. Uh, on the knees very very cool it's very very nice I and mean, the paint as well i mean look at her face it's very beautiful looking and they got the eyes sign just right and the gold is a very nice not just like straight gold there's some weathering applied here just to dull the look a little bit it's very very nice and the bat on here is painted nice gold as well let's look at this and the boots have some degree of weathering applied go from here it's very nice sort of like tan and then like go down the ring as a lot of wrinkles and there's they washed it a bit in the panel lines of the boots none of the soles are a bit dirtier this is really 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 cool and the cape as well I mean let's look at this thing it's beautiful I mean look at her look at her it's great all the sculpt work I mean there's all this it's not just like the cape as well it's not just like one piece of leather there's like this sort of like matte and there's this glossy leather for each of the ribbing on the cape, the scalloping. Really cool, really cool. And then there's this gold line as well. Very, very nice. And of course her very beautiful real hair, one six hair. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. All right. Um, and well, but also all this beautiful leather work and the rubber work is one of my main concerns for the longevity of this figure. I mean, in especially where I live, if you live in like a high humidity country and it's very, very hot, um, this leather likes to break down and especially hot toys leather. There's a tendency for them to like break down over time. Uh, but I'm not worried about the thighs. Thighs look like they're sculpted plastic, which is okay. But the main torso is rubber. So, and the leather on the cape. So these are very worrisome points for like longevity, but you know, who knows, right? <laughs> but for the most part, I really, really love this figure. And so let's go into articulation. The head can go around, they can tilt up, down. Very, very nice thing. You can go pretty far down so you can like have her look in direction. Then you can have her go up and this is pretty conducive for gliding which is really really nice and you can also go side to side very deep side to side a very deep tilt very deep tilt to the back girl which i find really cool then for the for the arms the arms now they're a major concern the instructions and you have to read for this figure especially you have to really be, read the instructions the you can pull the arms pretty far forward and there's also a butterfly joint in there and there's a body in there but because of the rubber it's, a, it's one piece rubber over time you might suffer start some wrinkling especially in the shoulder pads i've seen god of tiny people online with who put her in a lot of dynamic poses and they'll start to wrinkle like give it a couple of days <laughs> so yeah i recommend mostly try and like static or if you want to put dynamic pose just just for a couple of photoshops and then like you know Look, put it back in the museum pose but yeah let me just get the arms working and one two three four five 
five ratchets and she moves pretty far but again this is starting to bunch and i'm pretty sure this is how some other collectors get their batgirl uh sort of wrinkle in the shoulder region and oh oh darn yeah mine got a small one already and then open up here very very nice you can get a full t almost a full t then you can go up higher so very poseable very flexible body but again, I, I put care, especially on the shoulder pads. They are wrinkle magnets. So far, yeah, just that one area when I was pushing it forward. So again, butterfly joint back forward. Very nice. And then go far back that far. And you can see again, it's starting to pull on the suit. So I recommend being very cautious when moving this figure. Don't try to force poses. When the material starts to fight you or else you'll start getting damaged so again a lot of mobility but because of the material i don't recommend long-term posing so again let's go through the poses let's go to the elbows one two three uh, they say it can go 90 but i've seen people say it can bend double and in fact she can bend double but once you see here again the rubber suit is bunching and it can cause you long-term uh, pain <laughs> if you keep it that way. So mostly museum pose because of the rubberness of the suit. Again, the gauntlet, very nice scalloping here, you see? Very nice, very nice. Okay, so gauntlet gives a swivel at the gauntlet, then at the wrist, very really nice. Nice, and the, there's a pivot at the wrist as well. Very nice, turn around, up now, front back very very nice torso you can get it to go forward there's an ab crunch and the hot toys did mention the instructions you can get it to go all the way forward but again causing a lot of bunching in the rubber so careful i recommend a lot of caution with these things. yeah and you can also go side to side very very nice very very nice and swivel i think she can swivel if she can swivel Oh yeah, she can civil. So, really cool, really cool. The legs, legs are pretty nice. Um, well, that's the one thing I like about this figure because from the looks of it, they're all sculpted in hard plastic. And it's a jointed leg as well. The boots hide the joints in the back here. So the legs are the one thing I like that can probably last a lot longer than they should. So you guys can go all the way forward. Very, very nice. And you can go all the way. You can bend the knees this far. It's really cool. You can get in a lot of a lot of dynamic poses, as it were, and it can go out that far as well. Really, really cool. I like it. I right, can get to do the splits and all. So let's go to the ankles. Ankles can go, can do, can tilt this far, can tilt that far back, tilt forward, back. Very, very nice. And I appear to have overextended the joint. There we go. Very nice, very, very nice. So um, articulation is pretty good. Uh, it's just, again, I, I recommend a lot of caution when dealing with this figure and the materials are a big concern for me as well. So uh, let's uh, get some size comparisons going, shall we? Let's. Okay, before we move on, I totally forgot to mention <laughs> this. Um, but the cape is on a wire, so you can pose it to your liking. So if you want to do like a gliding pose, you know, full stretch, full stretch here, you can get it. But, and so far it doesn't extend to the rest. There's just all this boning in here. So you can pose it like how you like. So the boning is only one, two. The rest of the cape is Oh, the best cape has a wire, but it's pretty weak wire. So you can get it to pose like how you like. So you like, if you want to get her, just like have a cape sort of swooshing to the side like that. It's really, really cool. And the bottom layer is a very nice gold fabric. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> and then the outside is, well, the black leather, as I mentioned before. Really, really nice. So let's get some size comparisons going, shall we? Henry Cavill, Superman. Very good. And Superman is a lot broader and taller than Barbara, which makes sense. Yeah, it won't look, she won't look out of place if you have like a DCEU live action collection. Batman, 
Beyond Arkham Knight figure. Very, very nice. And oh boy, Bruce towers, <laughs> towers over Barbara. She's, he's like a head taller. Pretty big. I think something might be a little bit wrong here, but <laughs> that could just be me. <laughs> the sizing is a bit off, but. All right, and finally, to complete the DC Trinity, let's just, let's put her up next to Wonder Woman. Very nice. Uh, Gal, good as Wonder Woman, is a bit taller than her. These, these will pair really nice if you have a DC collection. So yeah, um, final thoughts on this figure. I do give her a recommend with some caveats because of the material. You have to be very, very careful with her. But still, really high recommend. If you're a fan of the Arkham games, if you're a fan of Batgirl, you know, this is the figure to pick up. It's been a long time coming. I think uh, the Arca Arkham Knight was like seven years ago. So yeah, if you're, if you're a fan of this version of Barbara Gordon, pick her up. You won't regret it. Uh, I think we still have some in stock in the links below. So if you are interested, hey, give her, give her, give her a look. But yeah, that's all from us. And we'll see you on the next episode. Same bat time, same bat channel.